Wow. Good thing we got these cool visors. Good thing. Kind of surprised you haven't started buying me birthday gifts yet for the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Not sure what I want. Look, I got you some fuel. <laughs> I don't think your mother would allow me to do that. <laughs> She'd buy you. You've got to buy her something real. It's pretty real to me. Fly along with us as we head up to Lafayette, Indiana, home of Purdue Aviation. Dad, of course, had lots of great tips along the way for flying into a towered airport, and we picked up flight following from ATC. I have found that you can idle this thing down around 850 and keep the vacuum gauge in the green. Yeah, about right in there. Or maybe 900. Yeah, it's a little low. Don't let your flag drop because the gyros will get off. Seat belts and harnesses. Parking brake on. Calm is set. Yep. Transponder set. 1200. Yep. Flight instruments check. Yep. Oh, I just checked my controls. Hold on. Let me get back with the program here. Okay, so flight instruments. Yeah. Even when I was doing that, I thought, why am I doing that right I now? I wondered why it was so out of sequence. But I thought, well, you're. You're doing something you want to do, so. No, just. Got your heading set? Not yet. Then bug. Alright, let me go through it here. Good. Good. I'm ready for my autopilot. Autopilot. Okay, GPS, you want to put the flight plan in there or did you already? Home. Okay. Then I'd suggest you go ahead and look at flight plan. Okay, so you're direct there. Okay. Then you wanted to wear a map. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Auxiliary fuel pumps off. Yep. Fuel valve on the fullest. Well, yes. Well, they're equal. So mixture then's rich and throttle, mag and car peat check. Engine instruments? Yep, they're all good. Okay. Throttle to a thousand. Fuel pump on. Trim set. Doors and windows. You've already checked flight controls, proper direction, wind clock set time. Rotating beacon, nav on, landing light on, and isolation switch if needed. Takeoff checklist is mixtures rich, car beats off, fuel pump is on, selector on fullest tank, flaps are up, trim is set for takeoff, power, brakes released, and climb out at 90. All right. So I'm going to take off and get um, kind of established out and then go ahead and call up and request flight following to Kilo Lima Alpha Foxtrot. And then uh, they'll give me a squawk. I'll give them the information they need. And then that should set us up for them passing us off to the tower. And we might get we'll Grism get in the middle. 
Okay. Maybe, but they'll give us that frequency. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm coming off the brakes, and I'm going to put my seat back. I'm too close. All right, now I'm good. Okay. I don't see any traffic in the pattern. Hendricks County traffic, Beach Niner Pitango, taking off runway 36 and departing the pattern to the north, Hendricks. Don't hear anybody and I don't see any traffic. I don't either. Yep, yeah, still coming through the audio panel, is it? Oh well. Work on that later. Heels are on the floor, toes off the pedals. All right. Make sure I'm landing my fuel boost. Full throttle. Forty. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. And it wants to fly. Got 85, lower in the nose to get 90. There's 90. There's a thousand feet a minute, or nine hundred. There's fourteen. Traffic, Beach, 9 5 Tango, departing the pattern to the north, Hendrick. Indy approach, Beach Cap. Go off out of Hendricks County, requesting flight following. Indy approach, uh, maintain VFR, uh, 2,500 for now. And uh, what kind of beach are you in destination? We are a Beach Bravo 2-3, and our destination is Kilo Lima Alpha Foxtrot. They want you at 2 5. The 351 direct C Bob going to the Bravo 1 2 3 right. Oh, you're looking at a guy? I'm looking at two guys right there. Oh, okay. 4908 contact Chicago Center 120.9 or 7. And he told me to stay out, didn't he? No, he told you to VFR. 5 Tango Squawk 6621. 6621 for 9 or 5 Tango. Uh, go ahead and say up to 2,500. 9 5 Tango Rear Contact 3 miles north of the Henderson County Airport. Maintain VFR 2,500 at Lafayette for now. Uh, 9 5 Tango, we will maintain VFR at 2,500 to Lafayette. This 944, traffic right yes. below you, 2,500 northwestbound, contact approach 121.1. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to move to 2,500, and I should miss that lift. Yes. In fact, they're already over here somewhere. 1,400 feet above us.
Golden Eagle with 7 8 golf change my first to 120.65. So you're intercepting your course. Looks good. Number 78 off, Roger. Beach 95 Tango, climb, maintain VFR 4,500. 95 Tango, climbing and maintaining 4,500. 4,500 seems high. Yeah, I'm surprised. Did you ask for that? Nope. Okay. They may be taking you around some traffic. You want to climb at 100? Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe there's a reason you lowered your nose. No, I lost my flow. Okay. You're doing great. It's just a lot more work coming out like that than it is. Yeah, like in zero max, zero contact, zero approach, one, two, eight, point, zero, two. I always wondered if that was still an airport there in uh, Lisbon. It does appear to be a very nicely mowed grass field. Private, but nonetheless, it's nice. Well, they are smoother than I would have uh, thought it could have been. Yeah. But this is about like what it was. Well, I didn't go very high, but it was smooth like it was yesterday, too, when I was out. Alright, there's 3,005. 15 in contact. I maintain one three thirteen thousand. That's twenty nine fifteen direct to Hoosier. Not be much wind up here. You're making 91 knots on the ground, 94, and you're about uh, 103, 105. That's about a one for one. It's really hazy. Five three, number five three alpha C three. Yeah. Theory. It didn't look like that down lower. All right, I think it did. Frontier 4838 in your parking contact. Lift 4838, clear direct Sneva intersection. South 
Southwest 2915, contact Indy Center 132.2. Good intercept. Um, I actually slipped off my heading a little bit. Well, well it looked really good. The problem is that it's right on on my phone, but it's off on this one. So I need to get used to following that. That one, and more specifically that one. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. That's the one that's legal for navigation. Oh, there's 4,500. Perfect. All right, fuel boost is off, and pressure is good. Frontier 4838, climb at 10, 1, 3, 13,000. I'll get your landing lane. Thank you. 25. November 8378 Golf, what altitude are you descending to? Seven eight golf, Frederick. I just let your speed keep coming up. Where's your RPM? Just over twenty five. Twenty five, yeah. yeah. Twenty five, twenty six. I just let keep coming up. Sorry. I saw you tugging on the mixture. Flight plan, we're all with flight following in the radio. Contact approach, one, two, one, five, I'll one. switch this over here. Okay. November 9140 Victor, contact Terre Haute approach, 125.45. Frontier 4838, contact Indianapolis Center, 119.55. So T3 is actually their shorter runway, uh, but it's still 4,225 and 100 feet wide, so. Okay. Very similar to back home. Yeah. November 954 Mike Alpha. Did they put you on a heading or you, uh, you direct something? You want to pick up weather? We're 15 minutes out according to this. Well, technically Bravo, it will be code line on standard. Technically Bravo 3, we are you direct what? 55 five feet AGL. Oh, aircraft feedback all the runway. Okay, thanks. Runway hold short instructions. Advise on our contact. You have information, Romeo. Delta 1379, any departure, contact, climb at 13,000. Delta 1379, thank you. Turn right, heading 280. We lost it. They're probably changing it. I guess I'll give it a second. Yeah. This probably, if you don't, if you want to, throw on the autopilot, it's probably a good time. Tango, contact, a GRISM approach, 123.85. Contacting Grissom on 123.85 for 9 or 5 to go. Thanks for help. Go to 1379, turn right. Grissom approach. Grissom go with you at 4,500. 5 Tango, Grissom approach. Grissom altimeter 29996, maintain VFR Lafayette. 29996 on the altimeter and maintaining VFR for Lafayette for 9 or 5 Tango. Grissom, friendly 368, 1300 for 8,000, just left Lafayette on the head of 280. Friendly 365, regrets, correction 368, Grissom, Roger, stand by. I'm going to try that again. In fact, the Bravo 3 has been relocated south of runway 1028. All aircraft, feedback, all runway assignment, runway hold short instructions, advise them as contact information, Sierra. Lafayette Pretty and Rosier Airport, Registration CO 2251, Observation 13004, Visibility 10, Sky Condition Clear Below 12000, Temperature 27, Dew Point 16, Altimeter 2996. 
Our 912 and approaching your phone departing 92 and 23. Call this is available on flight service frequencies. Use caution for birds and drones within the class Delta service area. Notice there are only 523 and 10 pappies are unserviceable. The only 523 surface markings are not standard. Taxi Bravo 2, 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 Three twenty at four is what it's saying now. Three twenty. Only five two three and one jet pappies are unserviceable. The only five two three surface markings are not standard. Taxi Bravo two is closed. Taxi Bravo elevated guard lights are not standard. Taxi Bravo three has been relocated south of runway one zero two eight. All aircraft be back. All runway assignment. Runway hold short instructions. Advise them. Contact information. Sierra. Five eight three inverse airport information CR two two five one observation one three zero zero four visibility one zero sky condition clear below one two thousand temperature two seven two point one six one three zero four one three one three I think that's what I heard. Damn. The only five two three surface markings are not standard. Taxi Bravo 2 is closed. Taxi Bravo elevated guard lights are not standard. And Taxi Bravo 3 has been relocated south of runway 1028. All aircraft back. All runway assignment. Runway hold short instruction. Devise them. contact information. Sierra. Bravo 8 3 inverse airport. Information Sierra 2251. Observation 13004. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear below 13004. Good grief. That should not have. What's the point of that? All right, so we're 20 miles out, and I have the elevation is 606 by 1600. Yeah. They look like they're landing now to a... So I need to start descending about 10 minutes out. You're 10 minutes out. No, I need to descend in about in 10 minutes out. Oh, I am? You are. Oh, well. Uh, ask, ask Grissom for lower. Grissom approach, beach cap 5095 Tango, requesting uh, lower altitude. 95 Tango, VFR altitude, your discretion. 95 Tango, altitude, our discretion. 69 Alpha Papa, contact Chicago Center, 132.5. Check in direct via tone. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do a landing checklist for 10 miles out. Okay. Alright, we got the weather, we got the radio frequency. What is, yeah, you know, set the tower in there. Yep. Okay. Fuel selector on the fullest, we're good right where we're at. Unless you just want to flip it over. No, I'll call good. Make sure it's rich, you wouldn't have to do that right now. I see you adjusting the power, landing light I see you have on. They'll hand us over to the tower. Seat belts haven't changed. Throttle you'll set up for landing when you're in position. And I don't know what they'll give you. They may give you a base, but either way, if you're at 1,600 foot and they ask for a base, you can deal with that. You good? I'm good. There's an aircraft right under me, so I'm going to slow my descent. Still 2,000 under me, but no reason to drop down. Oh, yeah, I see him. I see a bird or a drone. Not a plane. It's shiny, but man, it's moving fast. I'm going to assume it's a drone if it's shiny. Yeah. 
It was going across the field. Now these fields are huge up here. All right, 3,500. Still descending 500 feet a minute. I do not have the field. I'm assuming it's that clearing right in front of us. See like the, right here or right over there? Right, right in the nose. See the trees and then a clearing and then trees? I'm going with that. Depends how you're right smack on the course. Okay. But yeah, that, that could be mistaken as a field too, but I don't think it is right over here. I don't think that is it. Because you're still yeah, 13 still and a half miles out. Yeah, so. I don't think it's that. I think, I think it's it, this over here. Yeah, I think okay. it is too. That's what I was thinking. All right, I'm 500 at 3,000 almost. Yep. Looks like they've got three there. One on the ground, two in the air. I like the way you slowed down. Just kind of slow down, take things at your own pace. Nobody's telling you to go any faster. Nine five Tango report locked in sight when able. Nine five Tango, uh, we have the field in sight. Nine five Tango, Roger that. Register terminate. Keep the squawk contact tower nineteen six. Good day. Nine five Tango, clock VFR. Or keep squawk contacting tower at nineteen six. Nine five Tango. Course runway two eight, quick for takeoff. Runway two eight, quick for takeoff. Runway two eight. Now they've switched. Yeah, good. That's the big one. Clock at tower beach cap. Tango, uh, 10 miles to the southeast inbound with information, Sierra. November 5th, Lafayette Tower Report, 3 miles to the southeast, make left traffic runway 28. We'll report 3 miles to the southeast with a left traffic for runway 28, 9 or 5 take off. Good, he kind of gave you the option there. I'd, I'd traffic put a, for 28. I'd put a little bit of a base in that. You know what I'm saying? Or a, a downwind. See how you're kind of angled? I think I'd report. I wouldn't go a whole lot further, but. So you're saying? I think I'd go straight towards where you're pointed right now and then turn back onto a left downwind for 2-8, wouldn't you? And he said report three miles, correct? That's what I heard. Yeah. Got nine six right now. Two thousand two hundred. Taking your time, very very smart. I don't, don't feel overwhelmed yet, so. No, that's. And I compliment you for slowing everything down, staying in your flows. That's what you should be doing. That buys you time to keep up. Bravo, Tax Park via Bravo. Right, Bravo, Tax Park via Bravo, please. He said a three mile base, right? He or said three miles southeast of the field. Southeast, okay. Yeah, so I but just. But that would kind of be on a downwind. Yeah, I just. I just keep pointing towards the middle to the other end of that runway. Okay. You know, you, to me, you're angled too far away now. I'd go back towards the airport a little bit. You're seven seven from the airport, almost pattern altitude. The thing to remember is fly as normal the pattern as you can. You know, I know it's a different airport, but that's okay. Set yourself up. All your altitudes, your heights, if you will, above the ground, your speeds, and you can always go around.
There's 17. Yeah, I'm going to lose uh, 100 more and then call good. Okay. November 5724 Juliet, contact Grissom Approach. Track 5724 Juliet, contact Grissom Approach. Contact Grissom Approach, 5724 Juliet. All right, I got my altitude and I need one more mile. Okay, doing great. I'm just tidying up things over here. Get bored? Nope, I just, I didn't want my iPad getting in your way if you anything. I left it on, left it laying back here if I need to grab it real quick. Basically, we got... Uh, 3.6. Lucky at Tower Beach. Tingo, we are three miles to the southeast of the field. November 9 or 5 Tango, roger. Runway 28, clear to land. Runway 28, clear to land for 9 or 5 Tango. So they've cleared you for a visual. Basically, they're allowing you to fly the pattern you want to. So, yep, I'd set up however Maybe you want. a little bit closer, don't you think? Yes, I would. Maybe two or a little less, whatever you think you want to be when you start to turn. I'd get over the river. That way you got your distance from the field. Turn and do yourself a, uh, a downwind. Speed it up just a little bit so I'm not in that gray zone. Okay. Yeah, boy, it looks really good. Different airport, just take your time, set everything up, look at, you know, distance. You won't have ground references other than, like, the angle over your shoulder and so forth. Tower Vitor 25 is 10 miles to the northeast inbound with Sierra full stop. Vitor 25, Lafayette Tower Port, 3 miles to the north. You can inspect a right base entry runway 28. And you don't need to announce your base. Three to the north and inspect the right base entry for runway 28, Vitor 25. Nope, I was cleared to land. Yep, you were cleared to land. I don't 
don't see anybody on final. So as you see the need, you can turn it. I have turned a little early there. I see white and pink. Maybe white, white. Yeah, I think that's all right. Might. You can get a little power out of there, or whatever you need to do to get it going down. I wouldn't make any big adjustments. I think you're going to come right into it because it still looks pink out there to me. Yeah, a I got bit. 90, so I'm going to go ahead and power back a little bit. Yep, I think so. Five hundred PHL. Eighty-five. All right, I'm just going to sit here. Yep, smart move. Nice, big, long runway. Air speed looks great. Power looks good. White, white. But the track on the runway looks good. The gap, that looks good. Looks great. Definitely high. You can fix high. Yeah, I got a lot of runway. Yep, just keep it coming right on down. Keep your airspeed where you want it. There you go. Great. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Power's not all the way out. Nope. They're probably going to ask us where we want to go. We don't know, but we just tell them we want to go to the FBO. November 95 Tango, right turn Charlie 2, taxi for the FBO via Charlie. 95 Tango, right turn Charlie 2, taxiing to the FBO via Charlie. 95 Tango. Nice. Fader 25, 3 miles north. Fader 25, runway 28, clear to land. Runway 28, clear to land, 8 or 25. Okay. We got Charlie 2. Yep. And then that'll be Charlie right in front of us. Yep. And the FBO is going to be to your right. So if you want to pull up here after the stop, we can clean up. You don't need to announce it, though. Remember those things. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's easy because you're so used to doing what you yeah. do. All right, yeah. So after landing checklist is going to be just what you're doing. I would lean at some. Uh, landing lights off. Mixture is lean. Carb heat's off. Fuel boost pump's off. Flaps are up. Trim is set for takeoff. Yes. Fuel's on the fullest. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip it down so we have an opportunity to make sure we absolutely get switched over. Very nice. Yep, right here on Charlie. Looks like Charlie will take you up to... Well, we'll just see. At some point, it looks like maybe you're going to be on Bravo. And and he, you know you can do this, right? At a tower like this, you can say progressive taxi. Yeah. But I think it's fairly straightforward. It looks to see the FBO is this call out right here. Well, I'm glad we have that on video because I wouldn't have expected it myself. Expected what? Yeah, I think we might. We're going to be able to repeat everything back. I'll and use like, the restroom. You oh, did. Cool. You cool. have been working on yeah. that. I mean, you did. I know, but you did. Still. How many IFR flights? 11 hours with of IFR flights. Yeah, but I wasn't having to fly. So. 